I'm Janet Fetter, and I'm part of the One Sheet exhibition here at the Arvada Center. The inspiration for the music itself was that I, I wrote this piece of music called When You Dance in the Kitchen for a very good friend of mine in New York City who owns a brilliant and beautiful record store called the Downtown Music Gallery. And Bruce Gallanter was celebrating his 30 year anniversary of having this independent record store. I mean, imagine how hard it is to have an independent record store anywhere, and especially New York City. And this place is not only legendary because it's a record store, it's a great store. Um, it's a great, it's a place with a great vibe and musicians come and play live shows there regularly. It's where I played my New York City debut. And so um, Bruce invited people that, uh, invited select people to contribute a piece of music for his anniversary celebration. And um, I wrote this piece specifically for Bruce. My inspiration for the for creating the score that the way that I did. I, I had never written out a piece of mine on orchestral paper. It's a, it's a big piece of paper. It's uh, 16 and a half by 26 and a half. Um, the parameters, the edges of it. And it has 50 lines for, of potential music. So if you actually write notation in all those little 50 staves, it, you have a lot of very small notes, you know. So I'm looking at one page and I'm also thinking, how do I, how do I fit this composition that already exists in a sort of balanced way from top to bottom on this paper. So there was a sort of geometry to figuring out the size of what I was writing and what I was placing. So I had to make a lot of drafts first. I first drafted it um, and some of my ideas on eight and a half by 11 music paper. And then I went to full size orchestral paper and, um, and, and created a bunch of rough drafts. bottom of the frame of my piece are some uh, an array of small metal objects and um, some little tiny wire people that uh, the little wire people were made by my friend Galen Teller uh, who's been uh, exploring making wire art and I realized that I wanted some stick figures to kind of go along with uh, this idea that I had on the score of making the musical rests into stick figures. And I thought it would be cool if Galen would make me a bunch of little people. And Galen made a she, great, she just did a great job of making little stick figures out of wire for me. Um, so I don't use this on my guitar, but I have all these other little metal objects and some other things that I use typically on my guitar to make sounds. Um, I often use, uh, these little things called split rings, everybody has them in their pocket. It's what your keys are on, but I use little small ones. So um, what, I can, what I can do with my guitar is instead of having a string that sounds like this, which is just the regular pitch, it's B, um, is I, I put one of these on the string, it sounds like this. And so when you hear that sound in the recording, it's not a digital effect. It's um, it's something that I'm making happen on the string and incorporating into the composition. So this is my second string. And this is my second string with one of these small objects on it. So I'm basically interrupting the vibration of the string and um, able to create these sounds. So. That's why I decided to fill the bottom of the frame with some of the objects that I use. I also, there are, um, I think there are some horsehair in there. What I really like about using these kinds of objects 
discreetly placed on the strings is that if I, if I were to use like a pedal, a digital effect, it would affect all of my strings at once. They would all sound the same way. But when I place objects or use um, different things in different places, in discrete places, I can get sounds on individual strings. So I can do stuff like that where I'm not coloring all of the strings with the same effect, but I can work with individual strings and individual effects while I keep the other strings just like guitar strings. My name is Jana Fetter, and I'm really honored to be part of this exhibition at the Arvada Center called One Sheet. It's up from September 15th through November 13th. I hope you'll come and see it. My piece is called When You Dance in the Kitchen. The whole exhibit is really, really wonderful.